To a new player, Tarkov just looks so overwhelming, from its crazy inventory and gun modding system to its slow, I mean tactical and unforgiving gameplay. Challenge accepted though, my friend Boom and I decided to play Tarkov for 24 hours as completely new beginners with the goal of hitting 1 million rubles in that time frame. After picking Yusek as our faction, I stared at the menu and I thought, cool, this isn't too bad. Then I hit the character button and my brain short circuited. Admittedly, I did watch a one half hour tutorial by Jesse Kazam, but seeing all these little icons and the UI in the flesh was still pretty overwhelming. All right, I got, I got a, I got a gun on my back. I got, some, I got some basic body armor. I have a bandage for light, so stopping light I bleed. Like, I feel like we don't need this. I have an anal, analgen. Analgen? That can't be right. In Tarkov, there's two main playable factions, the Scavs and PMC. Scavs can either be AI controlled or player controlled, and as Scavs, the game randomly supplies you with low tier gear. The Scav has a cooldown period and can't really complete quests. If you play as PMC, which is your main character, you can bring whatever gear you own into the raid, but at the cost of risking to lose it if you die. If you're able to extract successfully as either Scav or PMC, you keep whatever loot you collected. Being the absolute scaredy cats we are, Boom and I decide to keep things low stakes. We began our very first Tarkov raid as scavs in a new map called Ground Zero made just for beginners like us. Candy, I don't see you. Oh, sh I just shot. You just shot. And why do I only have a pistol? Hey, I think I see you in your, your helmet. Dude, like right, right here. Are you shooting? No, I'm not shooting. Do you see me? I'm right by this oh, yeah, yeah. hole boot. Hey. Oh, that's you. Hey, man. Come here. Hey, what the hell is that? I don't know. Who is this guy? Is he, is he a robot, you think? Yeah, he, he's a scav. You can tell because he's wearing like a winter hat and he's not like a military man. I thought he was a real person. I'm really sad. Any friendly scavs here hating PMCs? How do you do, fellow scavs? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Wandering around Ground Zero, we felt like tourists that ventured too far from the hotel. Amazed and awestruck, but also utterly lost and clueless. While I really enjoyed the art style and vibe, there was a lot to take in. And unlike the previous shooters I played, Tarkov does not hold your hand in any way. Even being able to extract out of the raid, we relied heavily on third-party maps to help point us in the right direction. There's no ping system, no mini-map, no highlights, nothing like that. Oh, whoops. Did you just shoot? Yeah, so I had to click back. It sounded suppressed. It was really, it was really quiet. I think I, and I, it also, well, also it, it sounded like it whizzed by my head. Oh, it might have right? ricocheted. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I, I, oh, sh Oh, I got shit. shot. I got shot. I got shot. I got shot. Oh, fuck. So, yeah, Tarkov has a very surprise you're dead method of teaching players, which will be a recurring theme in our experience. In that last clip, I died to an AI sniper that will lock onto you if you venture out of bounds of the map, which, to be honest, for me, wasn't immediately obvious where out of bounds was. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, I think dude, I died up here. You see the sign? Don't walk anymore yeah, forward. I do, I do, I do. I, I think do. this but is how dude, I died last time. After figuring out how to do a manual check on how much ammo is in my mags, I was ready to take on the scavs. However, I quickly found out that even though they're just bots and aren't the best shots necessarily, every shot they do connect with is actually extremely punishing due to how damage and health works in this game. All right, all right. I'm pretty hurt now. Half health. Shooting at you from the building? Yeah, first floor. I got him. Okay, my my kid is coughing a lot. Okay, I'm bleeding out. Great. Uh, uh, I definitely underestimated how catastrophic it is to even get hit with a single shot. In most other FPS games, taking damage and being able to reset during a fight is a pretty smooth brain process. You usually just click on some kind of med kit and heal. But uh, in Tarkov, there's numerous steps to healing. Even though I had watched a detailed guide on all the different med items, all of that went out the window once I was in game taking real damage and my character was bleeding out. It felt like the equivalent of memorizing a speech, going up on stage, and then forgetting everything. I did end up managing to stop the bleeding and heal as much as I could. There were a couple of more AI scavs that I hunted down, however, this proved to be a mistake because things would soon take a turn for the worse. As it turned out, I separated myself a bit from Boom, and all the commotion we caused attracted some unwanted guests. Is that you moving around? Hmm? Yeah. I, like, That's, my you're health... Running. You're running. I stopped. You okay? I didn't just kill you, did I? No, oh, what happened? Oh, I heard mighty. like a lot of banging. I just was going, I went down to the bathroom. Is there everything? Don't shoot. Holy oh fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I can see like you're a little sensitive. Um, I'll just like sit like right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You know how like we were like standing together and you just like 
literally sprinted away. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy just like walked in next to me. He was uh, like, hey, what are you looking at? Holy crap, dude. While Boom was able to put down the enemy scav, we started going over locations to extract from. Unfortunately, while well, I was trying to figure that out. Wait, is that you? No, 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 it's not. I'm watching. Shoot him. <coughs> I'm looking. I'm just holding. I'm bleeding like a mother. I'm not leaving my cover. Just hide, hide, hide. Are you dead? No, but I'm really lit, dude. I'm like 100 HP. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm dead. Is it possible to switch that gun to full auto? Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, he peaked fast. Got him. Even though I ended up avenging Boom, the damage had already been done. I wasn't immediately aware of it, but my character was bleeding out really fast. The bigger issue was the UI and the lack of my familiarity with the inventory system. I was absolutely panicking and trying to find both meds for the heavy bleed, as well as rearrange the inventory slots to make room. I felt like I was someone trying to defuse a bomb on a timer, but having the worst case of performance anxiety. I don't know what I died to. I guess I bled out. I was trying to like get the car to heal no. myself. I think, I don't know. I think I, despite the rough start, some things were starting to stick within the first few raids. All Falato, right. Baby. All right. Falato, wait, how do I check? Yeah. Alt B, yep. Oops. Yeah, B. Oh, I just wait. made a single Ooh, fire. Ooh, oh, oh, oops. Falato, there you go. <laughs> this guy's uh, taking a nap here. This is how I sleep, by the way. Oh, <laughs> this is me at 1 a.m. <laughs> holy crap. Your arm over your head. Yeah. That's me when I hear Logan crying. And I'm like, please go back to bed. Please go back to bed. Please go back to bed. <laughs> Right behind you, you passed a can of beans. I'm not looting that right now, Captain. Hey, they stopped making noise, so, uh... You need... You, you, you are zipping. <laughs> it is so loud. <laughs> they definitely heard all that. <laughs> Nothing over here. Andy? <laughs> Dude. Boom, don't use in-game chat, you motherfucker. <laughs> Over the course of the next few hours, I was quickly getting a handle on the game's slower playstyle and basic mechanics. However, there was one massive problem that I was still struggling with. How to tell when an enemy is a scav or a PMC. Now, this mostly mattered when I played as scav, because from my understanding, if you harm other scavs, either on accident or on purpose, your scav rep goes down, which has a whole host of consequences that I don't want to get into. But basically, I spent quite a bit of time just studying the different enemies I'd come across by sitting up in a safe distance away. But it was still difficult to figure out who was what at times. And given that we were in ground zero, I think many of the other new players in our lobbies also were confused. Who's this? You shoot. I'm a scav. Don't shoot. These people, man, these people. Yeah, dude, shoot first, ask questions later. Good Try God, best. thank God he's a terrible shot. Is this a thing that Tarkov players go through a lot? Like oh, scav yeah, or not, dude, scav I, I, or not? Yeah, I think that's hard to determine. You okay? Nope. Yeah, I, I, I died. I died to a. Uh, I died to a. Scab. So yeah, it turns out the player that killed me was also a scav. As annoying as that was to die to someone who just didn't know any better, I also couldn't blame them. The next game, boom, opened fire on a new player, but things took an interesting turn. <clears throat> Is that you? Talking to him? Yeah. Um, one sec. Do you want Hello. This TV rig? I don't have a gun, so you can have it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Hi, man. I didn't shoot at you, by the way. That was my friend. No, no, it's good. Um, do you want this rig or no? Oh, actually, I'm in the building. Do you know where the stairs are to get to the cord? Nope. Do you want this rig? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some stairs over here. Don't trust okay. him, Boom. Don't trust keep him. Keep As, keep dude, keep he's going to whack you. Where's the... It's over there. Uh, Where's well, yeah, I think stairs are right here. I have here. no idea. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. There's a guy right God, there. God, someone help. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, thank you so much. Have a great wipe, Wait, guys. I'll you. see you later. One more. Careful, careful. Hopefully you extract. Good luck. Dude, he wasn't <laughs> listening. I think there's another one down there, isn't there? Dude, 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 he was so busy, like, thank you. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he didn't listen. This is why I was like, dude, there's another scab down there. Dude, he's like, okay, well, dude, bye. Dude, I think he died to a claymore. <laughs> oh my god. One of the biggest complaints I hear about Tarkov from people who don't play the game is the overwhelming weapon slash attachment system and the inventory system. I was struggling with it too. It was the same feeling as if I had to assemble an entire Boeing 747 by hand without any instructions. Luckily, one of my longtime friends, Rare, actually had a ton of hours poured into Tarkov and he was able to hop into a call with us. Okay, so this is the easy way. Find out what you can do for the gun. Right click mm -hmm. it. It's inspect or, or link search or something. Link search. 
So right now you want to buy some mags, so look for some magazines. Mm. If you do a link search on the magazine itself, you can also find what bullets fit in it. Right, you gotta scroll down, scroll down. Oh, uh, so and then uh, on the left-hand side, you gotta click on the ammo. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. By this point, we had several hours in the game, and Boom and I were really itching to start trying out some of the other maps. Ground Zero was fun and all, but I just want to see what a real Tarkov map was like. So we load into customs as PMCs, and let's just say it's definitely a bit different than what we've experienced so far. Uh, guy at the fence line where I killed the other one. Yep. I gotta reload him here. I'm playing slow. I got him. You walking near me? No. <laughs> Dude, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Are, are more scabs gonna come just because we're making noise? They're, they're, they're just gonna keep spawning and they hear noise, they see loot. They're, they're just gonna keep walking towards you. They keep multiplying? Oh my goodness. We must have kicked the proverbial hornet's nest with the AI scavs as they kept swarming us. Looking back, it was a goddamn miracle no human players were attracted to all that gunfire. But either way, right around here, we realized we needed to get out of the area and fast. Okay, this is a, like the hot zone. Because there's a quest here, this is a hot zone. So just take it slow. Uh, I died. Well, after fighting our way through numerous waves of scavs, Boom eventually got worn down and got taken out by two of them. I was able to fight them off before disengaging and made a sprint for the extract. Unfortunately, our luck ran out and I got sprayed down by an enemy player. Yep, and then take the left. Oh! 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 No, I died. No way. Half. As hard as it was determining scavs from PMCs, I found it, as a new player, pretty difficult to tell friendly teammates versus enemy players. Tarkov is a game that has incredibly high tension, and the lighting and colors don't exactly make it so players stick out. Combine that with the minimal UI, chaos of gunfights, and my own inexperience at the game, let's just say some accidents kept happening. This guy looting. Oh, I just got shot in the head. Oh, wait. I... Dude, as soon as you said that, I was like, well... <laughs> dude, that's my bad. That's my bad. I was also a scab. Like, why... Like, Dude, you look like... I don't, a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't look... I was wearing, like, a red jacket. No, you're not. You're wearing, like... And I, and I, and I was wearing, like, a black diaper hat. Despite that setback, our luck suddenly took a turn for the better. Boom and I were in the middle of doing a mission that required going to a lab to get a hard drive, but it would seem someone was waiting for us there. Yeah, he's there. Is he AFK? Dude. Uh, what? Dude, 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 dude. look at this guy. Oh my god. God, dude, I don't know what's going on, but I keep dropping my mag every time I reload. I just reloaded, my mag is gone. You probably again. don't have, you probably don't have room for it in your backpack. So you like take out one mag and then you just, you don't have where to put it, so you drop it. Oh wait, it's over here. It fell behind me. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> like by some miracle, like one percent killed, like this god boss. The way you're crouching around with this like navy seal wait. gun, being uh -huh. like, wait, my glasses. <laughs> like you're like picking up like bullets off. Got it. I got it. Like, I got it. This gun's alright. It's like, it's like a two X or some. I don't know, it doesn't magnify that much. Uh, I wonder if it changes magnification mode. Probably it does. Oh, probably. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Dude, 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 we don't dude, deserve dude, 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 dude. Don't even know how to, you don't even know how to use it, right? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that gun definitely like zooms in another level. Now, we were about 12 hours into Tarkov, and though I would say we've definitely learned a lot about the game, it still felt like there was an overwhelming amount of things we were missing. And I certainly didn't feel like my game sense was improving much. I hear you looting from so far. Yeah, you hear that? Oh, I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. In the beginning of the video, I said I had a goal of getting 1 million rubles during these 24 hours. This is because one of the first big items I was told to purchase was the Lucky Scav Junk Box from Therapist, as it will greatly help with inventory management by creating a ton of space. Now, sadly, my hoarder mentality actually made this extremely difficult because I didn't know which items to hold on to and which to sell. I just ended up holding on to everything, which both filled out my inventory and also meant I wasn't selling very much. New players in Tarkov start with 500,000 rubles, but I definitely dipped down to as low as 300,000 and 400,000 in my first few hours from dying a ton, losing gear, and not selling much. I definitely had Rare and Boom help walk me through the process of selling off more things, but despite all that, without the junk box, my inventory was still filling up insanely fast. Kenny really has to get that um, junk box so that he has space, because like that junk box gives you so much more like inventory. You guys ever see uh, that show Hoarders? 
Oh Stop. <laughs> Don't. No, 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 but there's there are like these people who hoard <laughs> stuff. And just just to shut up. I definitely feel like I'm like, I could be walking across people that are like, Literally just standing because my vision is so based on movement that like people don't move in this game People in fact are very ca camouflaged in this game And if you're slow if you're taking it slower than everyone else They'll be louder than you are I've been told by my friends that Tarkov is a marathon not a sprint and I need hundreds of hours before I would stop sucking <laughs> And I'm starting to see why looking back at this gameplay It may seem like we've been playing a considerable amount But honestly at this point I was still thinking wait, what am I doing again? Nevertheless with the 1 million ruble goal in mind Boom and I decided to do a scav run on customs to try to scrabble together more resources It's a, it's a scab up there. You see him? Well, good thing it wasn't a PMC. <laughs> yeah, you would have. See any PMC scum? At first, I thought you guys were PMCs from far. I didn't check uh, Warehouse 4 if you guys are looting. Bro, he said, I haven't looted Warehouse 4. That means he thinks we know where that is. I haven't, I haven't looted Warehouse 4. First of all, is this you I'm following? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dab? Hey, guys. Scav Brothers. Wow, good good armor. Know. Good armor. Did you see anything? Take <laughs> Oh my god, I thought you were an AI. <laughs> Dude. You scared, you scared the shit out of me. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to loot your, your stuff. Buddy. Nah, this is everyone's, buddy. All right, eat up, Tams. All right, dude, seriously though, like leave some for me. Like, oh my god. Dude, he's the one going at it. I'm not <laughs> looting it. Dude, slow down. Look, there's more bodies over here. Scabs forever. Scavs forever! Yeah, what's going on, dude? We're just scaving it up. Got some friends in the bushes. They're eating good. Yeah, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> dude, I hate those PMCs. <laughs> dude, everyone just gets quiet. Now, another challenge I came across as a new player was visibility. Trying to locate other players oftentimes can feel like looking for a needle in a haystack, except the needles shot back at you. I thought getting better sights would help fix it, but it was only part of the puzzle. I came across a few guides on YouTube on how to brighten up Tarkov. There were some gamma settings I had to mess with in the NVIDIA control panel, but after tickering with those settings, as well as in-game settings, let's just say, holy cow, I wish I had done this sooner. This looks a lot better. I don't know if you guys can tell on the screen, but what I can see is everything. Unfortunately, even though all these settings did help, some of my bad habits were just too hard to shake. Let's um get into a fight and then maybe find a better backpack. Oh sh Dude, that's me. That's me, bro. Are you serious? You're shooting, you're, you're shooting <laughs> Oh me. my god. I have, I have like three heavy bleeds. Really okay, 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 okay. Here, it says Mark. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, Chief. I'm, it's not good. <laughs> dude, 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 tell me you're right here in front of me. No, I do. You're, you're right. My fault. No, you're right. You're right. My fault. <laughs> all right, all right. We gotta hurry up. What do you need? Where can you go? Okay, Nakatani. <laughs> it's on the other side of the map. You're right. No, you're, no, you're, right. you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, I have heavy bleeding again. How? I think I reopened my <laughs> wound. Pretty sure there's kind of like left down the hallway. One, two, three. All right, I got all three. You're an excellent shot. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually very close. Do, do, you, do you have the Nakatani exit? Yes, yes, we're leaving together. I'll go first. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, despite the challenges we faced, I did start to get more used to the pacing for Tarkov. In many other shooters I've played, it is way less punishing to be brazenly aggressive. But in Tarkov, it actually punishes you pretty hard for running at enemies. In this particular clip, Boom and I took some shots at some enemy PMCs across the street. Yeah, down. Nice. Yeah. After making the cross ourselves, we realized there was another person upstairs. Now, old Candy would have just gotten impatient and bum rushed the stairs, but I realized doing so would put us at a massive disadvantage. So, our new strategy was, if in doubt, wait it out. <sighs> I, I think this is truly an impossible push. He said something. Yeah, he said, come on, goddamn, homie, come on now. He, th he thinks it's just one. Jesus Christ. Was that another one? Yeah. After holding the angle for a bit, we decided to back off and return downstairs. And eventually, the player holding the second floor came back down, which led to an easy kill. Got him. You okay? Oh, you got him? Yeah. I know it's not the most impressive. 
impressive shot or kill or whatever, but it was more of a victory over my own impulsive nature. I was actually able to hold back my own impatience and instead played incredibly slow, which I think is the way to go in Tarkov. Now, even though at this point I've spent over 12 hours into the game, there were still a ton of other aspects of the game that I hadn't touched yet. My hideout was still very bare bones and I wasn't really focused on doing the tasks just yet. I realized the most pressing matter was actually unlocking the final vendor, Jaeger. And to do that, we need to complete a quest where we locate Jaeger's hideouts on a map we've never played on before, Woods. Given it was our first time, I had to use a third party map website to try to figure out our location. And there's a gate up there. So if I had to guess, we might be near Scav Bridge. Is there a bridge around here? Yeah, there's a bridge right there. Uh, have you seen Jaeger? <laughs> Jaeger. Oh, f oh my God. Did you die? I'm okay. What happened? Where are you? I'm okay. What happened? <laughs> it's just some light bleeding. Watch out for that landmine. This? Well, it's already used. Uh, do you have anything for light bleeding? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh bandage here. Yeah. I see a guy. He doesn't see me. All right, the crouch. We're run. We're not. I don't think we're. He, he, he's going to your shack. He's in your shack. Okay. I, I think we're just. <laughs> well, you better use this. Hey, can I get those bandages back? <laughs> Tarkov really doesn't hold your hand. To our pleasure, there were apparently random landmines around a particular part of woods near the Yusek camp. But we weren't about to give up on completing the task, so we loaded into our next woods run. Also, if you notice that my STM9 didn't have a rear iron sight, it's because when I first got the gun, the irons were terrible and I thought I was being super clever by taking off the rear iron sight to help clear things up. Duh. Well, unfortunately, looking back, that's not how it works, and I think it actually made my gun stupidly inaccurate. Should we go to military camp? He's usually military- oh, Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Kill him! Kill him, help! I'm looking. Dead. <laughs> Just relax. I'm, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. Okay. I oh, fuck, there's more. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, do you have bandages, please? Dude, I'm gonna need that bandage back. So let's take okay. one, because I'm lightly. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my- He's gonna peek at any point. Who? Who? His friend, he's nading. Who do you think is throwing those nades, a ghost? Luckily for us, the rest of the team never pushed us. We actually had a reset and extract a heal, but upon returning to woods, we quickly made our way to Jaeger's hideout. Unfortunately, Tarkov didn't make it easy to find that quest item. Boom and I spent so much time looking for it that we had to pull in Rare, who was at work to help us pin it down. Hey guys. Yes, hey. rare. Go, go to the other side. Other side. It's covered in snow. That's why, and it's also white, which is why you can't see it. It's on the ground somewhere there. Jaeger, why? I see it. I think that's it. Wait, it's I see it. Yes, the, the little envelope. Dude, how? Why wasn't it like prompting us? Thank you. Got Thank it. You. Yes. Eventually, we found it. It was this white envelope, half buried in the white snow. And I feel like that's a common theme in Tarkov, whether you're looking for enemies or quest items, there's a lots of squinting and thinking, wait, where is that? Upon getting the quest item, the remaining thing to do was to extract, but we had to fight our way out through a number of scavs. Things were going smoothly until... I'm gonna peek him. Yep. Is there more? Is there more? What are you doing? There's one more. Shotgun, uh, shotgun, whatever that's called, scan. A gun. You kill him? Oh, no, no, no. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Shoot. No, no. Shoot. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> At this point, I realized I was actually pretty close to hitting the 1 million mark. The junk box was in sight. After selling a bunch of items and doing a pretty nice scav run that net me nearly 100,000 rubles, completing a couple more PMC runs back on Ground Zero, and then selling more things, I was able to finally unlock it. All right, I got enough. Now, time for the tub. The tub. Yes, yes. Oh my God, this frees up so much space. We were nearing the end of the 24 hour playtime in Tarkov, but things did not seem to slow down for us because during one of our PMC raids on woods, I didn't realize it, but chat told me I'd found one of the most rare items in the entire game. Got an LED extra. Okay, great. Got a mask. Wait, you just found one of the rarest items in the game? You might want to put that in your secret stash. What? I don't know. Whatever you just said out loud. Jason mask? Jason mask? Yeah. I think that might sell for a lot or something. Is, is it a Jason mask chat? Sorry, I'm not, I don't have your chat pulled up. Oh, LEDX. Should I sell the LEDX or just hold on to it, chat? Hold until flea market sells for millions? People are saying it sells for millions? Can you like scoot over a little bit? 
Like this is it. <laughs> okay, just like it. Okay, that's fine. But of course, it didn't end there because in our next woods run. But wait, wait. So here's a two. Here's a two point five times. See if you can put this on your freaking gun. Dude, I got another LED X. What? You're kidding. Not kidding. I just want the Salewas, so. <laughs> like wherever those are. Really saying it like it's like Spanish. <laughs> Senor. <laughs> Salewas, por favor. <laughs> like what do I do with these? Just Garbage. keep, just, just keep them. Just keep them. Garbage. Against all odds, we survived Tarkov, hitting our ruble goal, and even stumbling across rare treasures. Twenty-four hours of chaos, confusion, and unexpected joy. So, what's the verdict after all this? Boom and I had a blast. After twenty-four hours, though, I feel like I only barely scratched the surface. For example, besides that one time against Knight on Customs, we only really ran to scav bosses once. I still have very little idea on how to weapon mod, and I never bothered ensuring any of my guns. Am I high? out is a complete mess. But despite the crazy learning curve through the roller coaster of emotions, Tarkov still left me and Boom wanting more. Anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed that video. If you want to see more of my content, click on this link here.